Hebrews chapter 9, verse 21. Then likewise he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. And according to the law, almost all things, things, just talking about the things, the vessels that are in the tabernacle, are purged with blood. And without shedding of blood, there is no remission. You can read in Exodus chapter 29 and Leviticus chapter 16 how that worked. The blood in the context of Hebrews 9.22 purified the things of the temple. However, many Bibles have a little footnote that says that Hebrews 9.22 is a quote from Leviticus 17.11. Let's start in verse 10. And whenever a man of the house of Israel or of the strangers who sojourn among you who eats any blood, I will set my face against that person who eats blood and will cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. Therefore, I said to the children of Israel, no one among you shall eat blood, nor shall any stranger who sojourns among you eat blood. Four things. Number one, Leviticus 17.11 is about eating blood. It's not about atonement. Leviticus 17.11 is not the place to go for in-depth theological knowledge about blood atonement for people. You'll find that in Leviticus chapter 4 and chapter 5 and Numbers chapter 15. Which leads me to number 2. According to the law of God, blood atonement is only for unintentional sins. It does not cover willful sin. It does not cover intentional sin. Read it for yourself. Leviticus 4, 5 and Numbers chapter 15. Sin sacrifice according to the law of God does not cover intentional sins. Number three, Leviticus 17.11 does not state or even imply that blood is the only means of atonement. That would contradict all the rest of scripture that clearly says that there are other methods of atonement that are much more effective than animal sacrifices. And in case you don't know, there are at least four methods of atonement according to the law of God. First and foremost, repentance. Number two, charity. Number three, incense. And number four, the least effective, last and least effective animal sacrifices. Psalm 40, verse 6, sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you did not require. Hosea 6, 6, God said, for I desire mercy, not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. 1 Samuel 15, 22. Then Samuel said, Has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed than the fat of rams. If you're going to take the blood literal in Leviticus 17, 11, make sure you take the altar literal too.